Anyway, boat riding and rodeos. When I used to stay in California way back out there in my truck, I had first aid kit, like a super advanced first aid kit, food, water, guns, more guns, flare, which is part of my first aid kit, um, freaking tire, uh, stuff in a radio. So I always kept my truck inside my inside my have a truck. That would be the main thing in my truck. It would never go out of my truck. It would never come out my truck. I can be in a city and I will still have that stuff in my truck. Stuff in my gun. So when you're doing boat riding, it's hard to say it's GPS. And oh, there's a GPS stand for geospatial service or geospatial GPS. Geometry Spatial Service? Hmm, who knows? I just made that up out of nowhere. It's a bunch of boycraft called GPS because it's still stand for Geospatial Partition because there's the GPS where we have, they, they had another terminology for something else because you still go point A to point B, so they will have this freaking navigating map and stuff. I'm gonna get a quick one down how GPS work. Um, there are cell towers, internet service provider towers, Radios that people own, radio certain station have satellites and stuff like that. No, no, off topic. There's a conspiracy going on that we have no satellite space. Hell, cause y'all God won't allow it. All your overlords, who knows? But then there's another section that they don't use really use a satellite because satellite have a certain time frame is in that area. So they use hidden cell towers. You know, that's off topic. That's just. L to understand it. Basically, GPS is the whatever you're using to get some navigation materials. It sends materials to that, and it sends another material, and it sends another material. Does X, Y, and Z coordination? Once all towers give you X, but when you doing things special, it give you Y and Z, and the program is based off how fast you bounce off that with radio waves, or radio frequencies, or sound frequencies, or ping frequencies, whatever terminology you want to use. And you get your information on a diagram based on the program you have. There are some programs that are different. I have a GPS for my truck in Alaska. So, you know, stuff like that. I'm from Alaska and I usually like stand 600 miles away from the city of Pale Lady. Whatever. That's GPS. Now, there's SSB frequencies for radios or single sided broadband. If I remember correctly, whatever. And that's for that's one of the type of radios on a boat when you go way up the ocean. No. Certain boats out way out in lakes in the ocean. There are certain type of radios like single side broadband and the other kinds, VHS and stuff, that will not work. Due to the distance you are, the time of day or how strong the range of frequency they operate in. Yeah, like I said, certain range operate in, so you out in the middle of the ocean, don't know, stuff like that, you know. Single side broadband operate within the zero to 200 megahertz, so that's good until you get to international water and then if you get to that truck you better hope someone's in range of that where it will bounce off their stuff it bounce off some other stuff and they can report back to you um when i stayed in washington i was gonna buy a radio and i find out that i need the qualification for it and when i went to alaska again a couple years ago i found out i need another freaking um a qualification for the type of radio i wanted up there because According to the guy, the radio will operate on a certain frequency that if I want to, I can hop, jump in the military and stuff. I can do that anyway. So, you know. Stuff like that. Certain radios you need qualifications for to get certain radios you don't. It's like walkie-talkies and stuff. Even walkie-talkies you need qualifications for. Hey, fun stuff. But hertz are a unit of frequencies that cycle for every second of electromagnetic waves. In one second, you have one hertz of electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves. That's one second of hertz. You know frequency. Um, 
basically hurts better international system than for electromagnetic one second. Then there's kilohertz, which is freaking 10 3, which means it is 10 hertz times itself three times in one second. Basically, it's 300 hertz in one second. And that range on that is probably a mile, or actually, hold on, it might be six or five, six or seven miles. It'd be one of those, as in single star broadband. And then there's megahertz, which is 10 to the sixth power. And then there's gigahertz, then there's tetrahertz, and there's petrahertz, and there's octahertz. Most of the stuff doesn't make sense, because you know, that just me, I can just go to freaking break down. Anyway, that's radio frequencies. Um, some radio frequencies actually activate on an electromagnetic wave while sun acts on a vibration of atoms. This is also whatever. There we go. Done deal.